You know what really annoys me? This room always ends up looking like this. Yep. Not cool. But that ends today. I'm on my way to pick up my son at the train station. Yo, Marcus, your dad is here to pick you up. <laughs> Yo. What's up? Marcus is sort of my son. Oh, sort of. My <laughs> son is a bit weird, actually. Hey, Dan, where's your bike? Home. No. Fun at the park. How to take your shades on properly. Alright, as you can see here, we had a cool session, but it started raining and that sucks. Alright, so as we're waiting for the park to dry, I just want to show you something really, really cool. Uh, like a month ago, I hooked up with an LG G6 smartphone. And this thing is on another level. And what's so freaking awesome about this phone is there's two cameras. Yep, you think nothing special, two cameras. The iPhone 7 Plus has two cameras. Well, guess what? This one camera is a fisheye. Take a look on it. Starting to record with it. Three, two, one. Marcus, can you freaking believe that this is recorded on the phone? Oosh. And watch this. You can switch between the cameras in the same shot. Right? You? That's yes, that's true. Yeah. All right, take a look at this. Okay, I'm gonna let Marcus see. All right. This is normal. Fish eye. Three, two, one. Oi, whoosh. And it's a fish eye. You know what? I should sell all my camera gear and just start using this phone. Like, <laughs> I literally could actually, because this thing is on another level. Slow mo. <laughs> that was actually first try. Marcus, try to get that first try. Oosh, no. It's a no. Alright, cool. It's drying up now. Let's get some riding clips. Yeah. Give up, Marcus. You will never be as good as me at bo water bottle flipping. Last time I did that trick, I was, is exactly seven years ago. Here's a clip. Uh, yeah. Guess what? What? It started raining again for the third time right now. Mark's just leaving. Yo, what's up guys? Hello. As you probably already know, I have a new camera. Will it affect this video? Absolutely, but just in a good way, so no worries. I only have one battery for this camera, so we need to go buy another one. And right next to the store, there's a cool skate park. Not really right next to it, because it's like 20 minutes to ride on the rocker, but that's cool. I'm gonna do a little modification onto the rocker. This bike came with a free coaster, but I wanted to try something else, so rocker sent me a cassette wheel, so we're gonna put that up. And another little thing. I finally had the time to organize every single tool in this apartment. That's pretty cool. Yay! Beneath is sight. I'm sight, everyone's sight. We can finally use this room, which we never... Our tools in our living room! 
that too. Right, so let's fix this thing. Uh, let me tell you something very important when you're changing your back wheel or just wheels in general on your rocker. If you're taking your tires off on the rocker, you just take off these bolts. That's the scary part because always remember to take out the air before you loosen up the bolts or else the thing will blow up in your face. Ah, oh, the smell is so disgusting. I watched in one of Harry Mayne's video, he told that the reason air from the tires smells so bad is they have like powder inside of the tubes to make it not stick and the powder is made out of grinded fish bones. Doesn't that sound disgusting? Looking like a snack, looking like a donut. This looks like a donut. I like the sound of that. Now all we need is some air. To the boat! Look who's got on fresh Kylie Jenner makeup. That will be me. It's the ball. Uh, Bye. 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 Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this moment all day. Just hitting the park and have a rad session. Let's go. It's my first time riding this park in a rock and I can say it just now. This bike is perfect to ride a rocker on. Fuel in there here, buy a rocker and shred with me here.
far and I've been riding this park for like five minutes right now and I can already tell this is the, one of the best parks I've ever ridden a rocker in. <laughs> Alright, so if you watched the previous rocker video and learned dance a whip and bang, let's see if I can pull that first right now. Well, that kind of ruins the session. Shout out to Stone for making super solid pedals. Oh, do you know what? This session is way too good to just stop. I'm just riding on the broken pedal. Seems like it's kind of working. New trick pulled, baby! Alright, 100% real talk. This trick seriously made my day. I never even thought this trick would be possible to pull on a rocker. Alright, Lex still right. I just want to let you know, I tried 20 double waves without luck. I couldn't pull it. 720, meh, backflip. Backflip's gonna do another day. But I'm gonna do the seat grab. And I'm gonna turn my bar. That's called a toboggan. One of my favorite tricks to do on a bike, and especially on the rocker. I'm gonna try to do it on a cool gap. That gap right there. Guess what, Adam? It's a lucky day. I'm gonna do both. Oh. <laughs> That's pulled. Definitely pulled.